Hi, I'm Kalan. Uh, I'm the enterprise architect and I work for LiveRamp, a data connectivity platform. So I've been working in the data industry for 20 plus years now. I'm working on in the re-architecting their data infrastructure to handle the new use case of real-time database. We are using Red Panda for the streaming layer. So LiveRamp handles with you know ad analytics and ad data kind of thing. So for example, currently uh, the web activity from different clients, right? You know, bigger e-commerce websites and stuff comes in batches and that data has been consumed and we prepare it and get it ready for distribution. And as the ads are getting delivered to uh, different platforms. So what we are trying to do is access the web activity and different activity data live and process them as quickly as possible and have it available for our clients to you know, push it to different knee expects the whole data to be processed in less than a minute and available for distribution within a minute. We looked at different streaming solutions. When we looked at actual Kafka and we saw the Zookeeper and other tools and Java based structure and it was like a 10 year old architecture. So that's when we come across Red Panda and it is utilizing the latest hardware and capabilities of the latest technology basically. So that ends up being very less nodes compared to the traditional Kafka implementation and the latency and the performance is awesome. One other thing is like, you know, we really liked the GCS offloading and the vision of Red Panda having multiple tiered data storage in the future, which is the most attractive, one of the most attractive features. Currently, we have a legacy system uh, handling the streaming process. So replacing that with Red Panda is going to save us a lot of money. And also, it's going to be more real time and more efficient. The uh, you know, amount of servers we're using, and the infrastructure footprint is going to be smaller. When we were evaluating Red Panda, we ran around a billion records through Red Panda, actually. And it handled it so well and so fast. When you think about systems for big data and you know big data infrastructure, and uh, which is most of the cases are like 10 year old actually already. So when you're designing a solution which is going to be there for you know, another 10 or 15 years, we should be thinking about the technology we're choosing should be also advanced and latest. So we can't go look for a system which was developed like 10, 15 years back uh, to develop something which you want to be excelling in the next 10 to 20 years. So that is where I went with Red Panda. And I strongly believe that is going to be future. Uh, over the time we see incremental products and disruptive products, I will rate Red Panda and this architecture as a disruptive product because the performance and the features that provides us a huge leap forward than the one exists right now. So Kafka and similar products developed in 10 years old is like targeted towards using commodity machines. Whereas now we have a different problem to solve. Currently the servers are like multi crores, like 128 crore processors are available right now. So the system should be architected to that level of hardware. That is what attracted me towards Red Panda because the underlying architecture is architected specifically for the newer hardware and newer things.